Well guys, uh, another Tenere 750. Uh, we're super lucky to get some really cool and interesting bikes. As you are well aware, I'm hardcore into the enduro adventure uh, thing. And uh, these bikes came out of a time when uh, Dakar was everything for the manufacturers. Uh, it was the most prestigious race in the world. In many ways it still is. This one here we're doing tires on and uh, it's just a joy to ride. It's uh, really a lovely bike. Welcome back to this episode of Treasure Hunters. We're on the search for the elusive Goldwing air filter. So far we've removed all that stuff and we're now about uh, 10, 15 connectors into removing the stereo, the ECU, all the control modules, and the cruise control, and tipping that up out of the way to reveal the elusive air box. Now I've undone all the screws for the air box, and we have to try and wiggle her out of that little spot in there. Be right back. All right, now that that's out of the way, we look in here and go, it looks like somebody's been collecting. That could possibly have come in through the intake system, but uh, you know, little friends. Well, anyway, we'll get that out of here and uh, we'll be able to put us all back together. Well, for the amount of power this thing makes, is a fairly conservative sized throttle bodies. Uh, obviously, left and right, each one feeds three cylinders. And you look at pretty decent volume in here. Probably stash an entire key of cocaine. Anyway, let's put it back together. Well, another tough job done, and the assistants have been amazing. Thanks, guys. Quick follow up Kirby's rear swing arm is back on. His rear wheel is totally rebuilt with all new bearings, and uh, we even threw in a chain service. So, hopefully, he gets up for a ride on his bike this year. Good morning. It is Saturday morning and we are doing another pop-up day at Fox Motor Rent in Sydney. And our first appointment is here. Bill is getting some new shoes for his Honda Shadow. Which is really nice and clean. Wins cleanest bike we've worked on this year at work. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is Sunday and sunny at the moment, so we're trying to get some work done. I just finished vacuuming the cab of the shop truck, which has been accumulating dog hair and gravel as we've been back. So that was a good thing to get done. And uh, Scott washed the Tercel. And right now we're working on washing the zombie bus and he's on the roof, pressure washing the roof. So it's a little loud outside, um, but I'll give you a show of what's going on. What you working on? Oh, I'm uh, cleaning one of the world's best traveled fastest decks. Oh yeah. Yeah, a uh, 36 foot roof patio that's done 75 miles an hour. Well, it is uh, pretty much the end of the day. The bus has a very power washed roof deck. I've been cleaning up the truck. I took the dogs for a walk, all that fun stuff. Yeah, the sun is out still at the moment. It did rain a little earlier. The dogs were cold and messing about, so I put them in the cab of the truck. They're like, it's dinner time. I agree, it's dinner time. Are you leaving the railings up? Yeah, put the deck dry. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter, I think we can get out there. Yeah. I'll watch you if you can. I vacuumed out the bus as well, which was good. Yeah, and I vacuumed Todd's office, so that's nice and clean. He runs a sandblasting business, and uh, there's just sand everywhere. <laughs> We're at a really cool location. 
come with me. Special place today, we're in Brian Kendrick's garage. It was featured in uh, Cycle Magazine, I believe, and it is the coolest micro shop. It is his one bike garage, uh, and it is a testament to his love and passion of motorcycling and the Isle of Man. Uh, he's got quite the Isle of Man helmet collection, as you can see. He also brought us back some really a really cool photograph from his trip to Australia. But uh, look at all these really cool pictures. And uh, his bike model collection is quite spectacular as well. Well, it looks like one of them is trying to escape. I don't know, let's put it like that. There you go, uh, one micro garage. The detailing on everything is spectacular. Yes, hello. Okay, uh, Tech Talk. Uh, we're doing fork seals on this Jixer 600. It's got the really cool limited edition uh, GP paint scheme. Uh, the brake discs are contaminated. Really important that we brake clean all the oil off of these uh, and then inspect the brake pads to see if they're needing replacement as well. If they were soaked in oil, there are a couple techniques you can use to get it off. Um, brake clean, kerosene, stuff like that. But they'll never, once it's permeated into the actual metallic part of the pad material, you'll never get it to go away completely. It doesn't look too bad, it's hardly even wet, but there's a nice sheen of oil on the disc. Even when the bikes come out of the box brand new, you're supposed to clean the discs off because they have some contaminant oil on them from packaging. Okay, let me get that out of my way. Our co-workers for the day. A common misconception with motorcycle service is that scooters are easier. The reality is actually scooters are harder in almost every way. A uh, full-size motorcycle, you can remove the rear wheel without doing things like removing the muffler, your exhaust system. I have to disassemble the entire brake package on this side so that I can remove this side of the swing arm all to get to the rear wheel. I've already, as you can see, I've already undone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bolts, and I'm only halfway there. That's it. just a little information for you. We're working on this Silver Wing, which is a pretty big scooter, but nonetheless is a scooter. Wowzers. But actually that went reasonably well. Also a little handy piece of information. That's a splined shaft. Wherever you see a splined shaft, don't use bearing grease. Use molly grease. It's actually more specific. It's also fairly toxic. That's why I'm wearing gloves, which I don't fortunately do often enough. Anyway, it was kind of dry. We're gonna give it a nice thick coating of molly. Also for a scooter, this is an unusual thing where we're balancing the tires. Uh, most balancing inconsistencies appear between 100 and 120 kilometers an hour. This little 600 silver wing is probably capable of 100 miles an hour. And uh, we're going to make sure that the, there's no vibrations for her. Miles so, an hour? Yeah. So. The other cool fact is that uh, the Honda Silver Ring runs a 13 inch rear tire and a 14 inch front tire. I'm also using Honda Gold Wing combs because there's no bearing in the center of this wheel, it just lives on this plane. Fuck, I didn't think that would go in. So now we're doing tires on this Triumph here. Triumph seems to be a popular bike these days. 